okay let us discuss with in our class 9th we discuss with the chapter statistics and we have some previous knowledge about this one okay what is meant by statistics before going to discuss with the properties of the statistics first of all let us discuss what is meant by a data data means collection of information the data will be collected in various forms in the various forms the best three methods are pictographs number 1 is a pictograph number 2 is a bar diagram number 3 is pie charts first of all discuss about the pictographs what is the meaning of a pictograph representing the data by using the pictures that is we know very well and we can see very often in our books the population and uh, scoring of um, different objects now pictograph suppose for example see this is a girl diagram this is a boy diagram suppose each diagram will represents each diagram will represents 1 lakh let us assume that is in 2005 the birth rate of the girls is around the 2 lakhs and the birth rate of the boys is around the 2 lakhs that is i am representing the data by using the pictures therefore it is called as a pictographs second one bar diagram representing the data with the help of the rectangular bars x axis y axis representing the data by using the rectangular bars is called a bar diagram that is in bar diagram the corresponding years suppose for example this is 1995 this is 1996 this is 1997 this is 1998 in 1995 that means in various years what is the growth of education that is what is the development that is this is suppose for example 3 lakh 6 lakh 9 lakh 12 lakhs that is the growth of the education that is the development in the education that is in 1995 is around 12 lakhs and 1996 around the 6 lakhs that is 1997 it is about 13 lakhs that is in 1998 is around 10 lakhs that is representing the data with the help of the rectangular bars is called as a bar diagram number 3 pie chart that is representing the data in terms of sectors that is representing the data with the help of the sectors is called a pie chart we know very well the central angle is a 360 suppose for example this is 90 degrees this is 150 degrees suppose 90 plus 150 that is 240 this is 120 degrees that is sum of angles in the central angle is a 360 that is 120 plus 150 270 plus 90 360 that is representing the data in terms of the sectors of a circle is called a pie chart to find the angle in a pie chart angle is equal to 
component value by total value into 360. By using this formula, we can find out the angles of a sector in a circle. Okay, our next our topic is a mean of ungrouped data. What is mean by a mean? Mean nothing but the average of the all the values. In the mean also, we can get two categories that is a grouped data and the ungrouped data. Now we are discussing with the mean of ungrouped data. Now, suppose for example, a class of 30 students is conducted an exam for marks 50. That is, for 30 students, the score different types of marks that is from least to the highest then in the class 30 out of 30 student will be there and the failure student will be there 20 21 22 like that marks also will be there then how to find the mean of the mark of the class then what you have to do is sum of all the 30 students marks by the number of students you will get the main mark of the class that is Suppose, for example, if x1, x2, x3 and so on, xn are observations, that is 1, 2, 3 up to so on xn, that is how many observations are there, n observations are there, okay. How many items are there, 1, 2, 3 and so on x1, that is x1, x2, x3 and so on xn are the items, therefore, the mean is equal to mean x bar is equal to x1 plus x2 plus and so on plus xn by n that is to get the mean of ungrouped data that is the mean of n observations the mean formula is sum of items by the number of items next second item If the observations, if x1, x2, x3 and so on xn are associated with some frequencies, associated with some frequencies f1, f2, f3 and so on fn. Then what is the mean in this case? It is also an ungrouped data. That is then mean x bar is equal to f1, x1, f2, x2 plus and so on plus fn xn by the number of items is here n that is here what is the difference between the small n and the capital n is here small n represents the number of observations and here capital n represents the sum of the frequencies that is fi xi that is how many from fi xi to fn xn you added all the one then the total is represented with sigma fi xi by n that is where i is equal to 1 to n this is the mean of ungrouped data if the observations are associated with some frequencies